Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm going to take an old Mossberg shotgun, cut down the barrel, show you how to do it, and then uh, we're going to take this out, put some rounds through it. So let me show you what I have here. This is actually a New Haven 12 gauge model 600 AT. So basically, it is just a Mossberg 500. And this would have been sold in Montgomery Ward or um, Western Auto. And this shotgun was actually made in 1976 and man look at the condition of this. I picked this up just a few days ago in a pawn shop. I paid about half the price of a new Mossberg 500. It does have a few minor uh, scratches on it but man excellent shape. Look at that uh, forearm. Now the problem is it has a 30 inch full choke barrel. Not very practical today. Um, the guy that bought this probably bought it to hunt ducks. Again made in 1976. 1991 government come out and said if you're gonna hunt ducks or migratory birds you have to use still shot. Well this full choke is not rated for still shot so you can't hunt ducks with it. Doesn't have much practical use today. So I'm gonna cut it down to 20 inches, which would be right about there. I'll show you how to do that, then like I said, we'll take it out and shoot it. Now you can cut down the barrel on a shotgun legally, but you have to know what you're doing. Once I cut this down, that barrel has to be at least 18 inches long. We're gonna go with 20. And the overall length has to be at least 26 inches which well I will have no problem with that so let's take this in the shop chop off this barrel and I'll show you how to do it yeah look at that so I got my barrel in my vise I've got my 20 inches marked and I got a hacksaw and so let's get started Actually, I'm going to go just over 20 inches, so I have a little bit of room to square up my cut. All right. You know what, that turned out pretty square. And I will probably take my bead off and put it on my shortened barrel. All right, so I, I cut off another eighth of an inch just so I wouldn't have a whole lot of file work. So that's just about perfect right there. So. Let me uh, straighten that up a little bit. Okay, I need to shorten my rib just a little bit, but I don't want to scratch my barrel doing it. So I have a copper coupling here, a three quarter inch. I'm going to just put it right there. Now I can file this down slightly without scratching my barrel, hopefully.
All right, I think that's about as square as I can get that by hand. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I did uh, take off the burrs around the outside and inside. So I think all we need now is a little bit of blue on this. And uh, we'll be about done. Now before I put any blue on this, I want to use some rubbing alcohol. Get off all the oil that might be on there. So, just clean that up a little bit, wherever you're going to put your blue in. Alright. Okay, that's dry. I've got an old pen here. This is a bluing pen. Had this thing forever. But, we're just going to... Put it on here. Just like so. Look at that, huh? Buff that a little bit. And do it again. Bam, look at that. Good as new. I think they still make these, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm really happy the way this turned out. Just wipe that down a little bit. Looks good. All I have to do now is clean out this bore with a brush, put it back on a shotgun, and ready to do some shooting. All right, I'll tell you what, what a big difference taking 10 inches off that barrel has made on this shotgun. Just feels like a completely different shotgun, going to be perfect for home defense. Look at that. Now obviously it doesn't have any choke to it and right now it does not have a uh, bead on it. I may, uh, I may take off my old bead off that section I cut off and put it on here, but really happy the way that turned out so we're gonna load it up and shoot it but real quick the shotgun being 45 years old I did replace the uh, magazine spring in it now the spring I took out was 18 inches long the new Mossberg spring 24 inches so if you have an old shotgun laying around for the last 30 or 40 years at least change out the magazine spring on it Magazine holds five rounds, one in the chamber, and you know what? I'm going to shut up and shoot. All right, I'm going to just start off with three rounds of light bird shot just to get the fill of the shotgun. Especially since it doesn't have a front sight on it or a front bead. Uh oh. Well, son of a gun. Might have to check the extractor on that. All right, we're going to try that again. Okay, I'm going to try that again with three more rounds. Maybe I just didn't work that uh, forearm like I uh, should have. Might have short stroked it. So let's try three more rounds. Yeah, I think it's okay. Tell you what, let's have a little fun now. Okay, next I'm going to fire a uh, two and three quarter inch double off buckshot. This has nine pellets in it. Twelve yards. See how many of those nine pellets will get on that uh, black target. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's go down and take a look. 
Wow, look at that. Nine pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would have been right here. And that would have been the uh, wad right here. But man, I really expected, you know, most of those to, to be out around here. But heck, that's only five inches. Yeah, I, I'm really Im impressed with that. All right, next we're going to try a heavy field load. This is uh, number four birdshot high brass. Again, 12 yards. Yeah, that would have hurt. Yes, I need a haircut. Yes, I am wearing earplugs. I think I might have to look at the ejector. All right, so I have my new ejector in here, and I'll show you how to replace that here in a minute. Very simple job, and. Uh, but I'll show you a clip on how to do that. But in the meantime, I just want to put a few rounds through this to make sure it's operating okay. Yeah, that's much better. All right, let me show you how to replace the ejector in a Mossberg 500. Okay, replacing the ejector is very simple. First of all, you want to take the barrel off, bring the bolt all the way back, and we're going to take out this small screw right here because that right there is the ejector. All right. Usually you can just... Usually that will just fall out, but sometimes it won't, so we'll just do it like that. All right. And there is the new ejector right there. So just line it up, put it in a position. Might be a little tricky sometimes, especially with a new one. And just like that going to put in my screw and we'll be done. You might want to put a little blue Loctite on that screw. Snug it down and look at that. We're done. Just that simple. Okay, shotgun's working really good, so let's just have a little fun. Well, that wasn't no fun.
Okay guys, I'll tell you what, I had a blast shooting this shotgun. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know I do a lot of shotgun videos and you probably know I love Mossberg shotguns. No exception here. Paid 170 bucks for the shotgun. Cut down the barrel. The ejector, uh, 10 bucks. Magazine spring, $7. And bam, I got under $200 in this and just an excellent shotgun. Anyways, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Whoa! That ought to look pretty cool in slow motion. And yes, guys, I will pick up my trash. I hope you do the same. Thanks again.